Okay, continuing. These are, I love these. They're nice and thick and full. And honestly, the price isn't bad. It's flat cedar. It's flat cedar. And for my people, flat cedar is important with, um, in ceremonies. We burn flat cedar in prayer along with sage and sweet grass, tobacco, because we believe that it's one of the first trees that was given to my people. Oh, you got a, oh, you got a log for me. Oh, that looks like it'll make the perfect drum. Okay, give it to daddy so daddy can carry it because my angel didn't bring her walker. Oh, this is nice, really. Okay, be right back. Okay, there are so many people here that are checking out the trees and buying them. And that one over there kind of looks like a Charlie Brown and needs love. Okay, so far the Clarks are except for um except okay except for i think she picked out my tree yes and now it's next to this tree okay i like so, this tree i like that tree that that girl is standing next yes to. she needs to get away from my tree but um i think they're probably gonna I to, don't care. it's an imperfect tree like imperfect people that's what a tree is about you know you never get a perfect tree. You always get an imperfect tree. You know, that's, oh man, sit bear. I gotta show you this one. That one looks so much like a Charlie Brown tree. I love it. And just for a word of safety, um, please don't allow your children to run up to strange dogs. I mean, you never can tell what that dog's um, feelings are that day. And now the young man is cutting down the tree. Oh, what a nice raining morning. I hope you can hear me. Yes, and he's doing a great job, ladies and gentlemen. He did a wonderful job. Yes. Bear, bear sit. Remember the Charlie Brown type tree <laughs> that I showed you guys? Well, guess what? Charlie Brown's tree has a home. Somebody bought the little Charlie Brown type tree and I'm so happy. Now they'll take it home and wrap a blanket around it. Oh, and here's Beth. Beth is also recording. Are you recording the Charlie Brown type tree? Yes, the Charlie Brown tree yes. is now gone. Now I think this is the sweetest thing of all. Somebody cut down twins. I like that idea. Okay, everybody. They've picked out their tree and it's being cut and trimmed down. As soon as Russ goes over there to let them know how much he wants trim. And then we'll be bagged up. But right now, the family is inside there to get um, hot chocolate. You know, it's the season for hot chocolate. Oh, one more thing ab about my, about my life. I have to go through a whole bunch of short jokes with this one. Say cheese. You gotta hand it to short people. They can't reach it anyway. Feel my pain, folks. Feel my pain. Okay, bear, turn around. Bear. No, no. Bear, sit. Sit. Take a holiday picture. Say cheese. 
Oh. You know, people, this is wonderful. Oh, he did it. Say bear. bear. That, one, that was perfect for about a half a second. Bear, yes, boy. I got it. Okay, so before we leave, I just wanted to show you guys how they wrap up your trees and they do a really good job. They are professional tree wrappers, getting your tree all ready for the holidays. So honestly, you should, you should try this. Really, you should try this. This is really fantastic. Sit. Oh, there's a guy on the thing there. Wave hi! Okay. All right, so it's time for me and Bear to go and get into Excuse me, guys. Sit. It's just that my glasses are fogging up. It's time for Bear and I to get into the truck and join the family. And um, whew, I will keep, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I will keep locking on or vlogging for the rest, excuse me, guys, for the rest of our trip. I kind of had to discipline Bear right now. Okay, guys, talk to you in a few minutes. That first one that you like very much. Okay, so. How do you make a drum out of that? Hold on. Um, Bear and I would like to thank you guys for joining our trip to the Christmas tree farm. And let's look at some scenery right now. So, here we go. Turning this way. Okay, look at these beautiful trees that are getting ready for next year. Some music in the background. Oh, we got music in the background. Look at that. Yeah, and there you go. Okay. Okay, and there you go. So here you go. Try this. Just try it. If you haven't done this before, then do it with your family. You know, this is how you start making lasting memories. And that's what children today, they need to know about the lasting memories so they can share those memories with their children and how grandpa and grandma took them to the tree farm. Talk to you later, guys.